Hi, this is Dave Gimberlein with Sakata for Self-Defense and Shotoru Goshen Jitsu. Uh, for today's workout, we're going to do some warm-ups. We're going to do maybe some basics, but we're going to work on the Kata Kankudai. This was requested. If you have a request for a class that you want to see covered on any Kata or any concept or any technique, you can email me at Gimberlein at Hotmail.com or write it in the comments below. Thank you. We're going to start. We have one foot. Go around with your ankle and toes. Switch. Other way. Other foot. Oops. Other way. Feet together. Around with your knees. Other way. Feet apart. Around with your hips. Switch. Use your legs, pump your arms around. Switch. Cross. Twisting, take nice deep breaths. And stop. Kick up your heels. Put one leg in front. Put both arms out. Swing your leg up and hit your hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Switch feet. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Switch feet. High crescent kick. One, swing. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Switch feet. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Switch feet. Squatting. Down. Put your hands on the floor. Straighten your legs. Down. Stretch. Down. Straighten. Down. Straighten. And down. Feet out behind you. Arch. Look up at the ceiling. Breathe in deep through your nose. And out through your mouth. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Push your hips back. Touch your chest to the floor. Hold again. Pull your feet in. Squatting. Feet apart. Keep it arch. Stretching down and forward. Back. Forward, back, forward, back, reach shoulder over shoulder, switch, side, switch, around with your torso. Switch it away. And stop. Straighten one leg. Stretch off to one side. Switch. 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 
switch and switch. We're going to reach across, try to touch your foot and exhale. Reach, back, 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 and reach. Switch over the other side. Go as far as you can comfortably, and each time try to go just a little further. Reach, back, reach, back, reach, reach, back, reach, back, reach, back, reach, back, and reach. Back. Oh, let's see. Put one foot behind, stretch out your ankle and calf. Switch feet. Switch feet. Switch feet. Again, stretch over to one side, drop down. Switch. 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 Switch and switch. Stay on the side. Rotate your hips all the way over. Stretch the outside of your thigh. Breathe deep. Back. Over. Back. Over. Back. Over. Back. over. And back. Switch. All the way over. Switch the outside. Bye. Back. Over. Back. Over. Back. Over. And back. Pull your feet in twice. Stretch down to the floor. Roll up. Around your hip. Switch. Side side. Squeeze one knee up into your chest. Switch. 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 And switch. Reach around behind. Grab an ankle. You get up as high as you are comfortable. Switch. Switch. And switch. Shake it out. Turn. Straighten the uniform. Some basic movement. Left arm, left leg forward, get him but I. Aye! Ah! Counter punch out. Move over that way just a little bit. Head, stomach, one count. One. Twist. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And switch hands with feet. Spine nice and straight and tall. Center in front. Pull down into a back leg. One. Twist. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Switch hands, switch feet. 
hold your position, front snap kick, step back, rising block, counter punch. One, kick, block, up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah. Switch hands, switch knees. To the side. When you kick, pull your drawing arm in a little extra. Squeeze your inner thigh in a little extra. Make sure that you get a good recoil before you drive back to block and then counter. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch hands, switch feet to the side. <coughs> Wash your area. Roundhouse kick, step back, outside block, counter punch. Wash your area, something okay, got me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch hands, switch feet. Same deal, wrap your arm in just a little bit as you kick. Help keep your body together. Keep your arm pointing where you're going rather than letting it drop as you kick. This gives you direction. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch hands, switch feet. I'm gonna try a side snap kick, inside block, counter punch. If you have difficulty with this, you can just do a front kick with your foot turned, and that's fine. If you can, let your hip travel and snap your hip, that's a little bit better. Snap, block, counter. Just do the best you can. Keep your head up, counter punch out. One, snap, block, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch hands, switch feet. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hi, right, switch hands with feet. This one's a little more difficult. You're gonna do a side thrust kick, pull your foot back. Downward block counter punch. Try if you can to let your hip twist, let your foot twist, commit to the thrust before pulling back and doing a downward block and a counter punch. Yoko Kikomi, Kanemurai, Gyakuzuki. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch hands with cheese on the side. Feel like you're getting warmed up? A little bit. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Hey, buddy. Let me rest. Shoot it out a little bit. Concordai, uh, as an advanced kata, is not that difficult to pick up because. It's generally assumed that by the time you get there, you've done all five Heians or Pinans and you've done Tekken Shodan or Nihanchi Shodan. And almost all of the moves in Kankudai are in those kata. So uh, there's very little that's new. Uh, it's just kind of put together a little different. Uh, whenever I teach a new kata, instead of just starting off with the kata, I often start with a part that helps you to know how to do. And that's what we're going to do today. Uh, so put your left foot forward. We're going to do this part. You're going to go one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we're all going to do that together. Uh, this hand coils up high by your ear. This hand's going to come up and block your face. Twist your hip and strike. One, that's a front stance. Front snap hit. Two, turn and block. Three, that's a manjuki. Stab with your right hand. Four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Four, five. Okay, now we're going to talk a little bit about how to do that. When you do this strike, a lot of times people stop with their hip facing straight forward. And if I was punching, I'd say that's fine. But you're supposed to be creating sideways energy here. And stopping with your hip straight does not maximize your power. So I am going to recommend that you over twist a little bit because you're making energy sideways. This hand has to cover your face and strike in. A very simple application, of course, is just blocking and striking to the neck. Think of hitting with this little bone right here rather than with the smart of your little finger. Same with this one. I clearly block with both. After that, so let's practice that a couple times. Start here and strike. One, boom, over twist, over twist, over twist. Then go back. Two, over twist, go back, three. Now, I want to point out, I usually do, I guess, when I teach this, that although we stay in a front stance when we do this twist, there are styles out there that twist and cross their feet this way. So they have even more twist, and then they do their kick. Kind of a cool way to do it. We don't, but that element of over twisting is still in there. It is probably not that important to reach out far because somebody's trying to punch you and assuming they're about your same size, you're just striking to their neck. So it is a little more important to twist or twist. After the twist, I want you to do a good recoil. So we're going to break this down into a couple counts. We're going to go two, squeeze, three, turn, Four, shock, 
So you've got that energy going into the ground. So let's try that series. Start here and go one, one, over twist, two, recoil, three, coil, four, shock. Might as well continue. Twist your hip and drive. Five, six. So both of those also have their issues. From here, when you've got this nice big outward position, you now have to figure out how to drive. So usually that's going to mean adjusting your back foot and driving into the target. And then you have to maintain forward pressure as you do this downward block and draw backward. So please don't let this settle behind you. Keep it out in front. <sighs> I just figured out I have to turn the lights on because it's getting dark outside. So I'm going to do that. Hold on a second. <coughs> I hope so. Okay, that should be a little better with the lights. <coughs> Also, <clears throat> when I video this, I don't have a screen or anything to see. I just point my camera at me and turn it on. And uh, remarkably, I've been almost always in the frame. <laughs> so that's good. Uh, but sometimes I forget obvious stuff like lighting. <sighs> Keep your left shoulder down and pull it down even as you do this strike. So this is not any way up. It, they're both sides pulling down. Your hip is turning and your shoulders are turning just a little extra, as I mentioned. Then squeeze here so the weight comes back. Pivot for your new direction and then pull your elbows apart to end up in your good back stance. Then drive in for this strike. Then keep your forward pressure as you draw. Okay, so here we go. We'll try it again. One, two, three. Four, five, six, one, two, squeeze, three, pivot, four, shock, five, six. The reason I have that extra count in there is because I want you to establish a base. So normally it's not done in two counts. We go from here to here. But if I let people do that, they tend to get from here and they fall and they try to do their arms and there's no direction. So the first place where this shows up in kata, where at least I pointed out in teaching, is in Heian Nidan. When you were here, you pull together, uh, you snap, then you go this way, squeeze, go. So you have a new base, which is your front leg to drive from to get your leg back. <coughs> So now we're going to start skipping that part. Do the turn and squeeze and then shock in one count. So here you go. One, two, three, four, five. Forward pressure, forward pressure, forward pressure. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Three, four, five. Hi up, that's enough. I rest. Okay. We're gonna work our way through the kata in parts, and then we'll do at the end we'll do the whole kata from beginning to end a few times. <clears throat> the beginning for me to learn was uh, difficult. And it is because you stand in place and move your arms, but you can't just move your arms. You have to do it with your body, your legs in your center. And the first part's kind of easy, the second part's a little more difficult. So try it like this. You're gonna cover your left thumb with your right thumb, your left thumbnail with your right thumbnail, and your first two fingernails with these fingers here. So when you start, your hip and center is going to imagine lifting, lifting, lifting to raise your hands. You don't do it quite that big, but on the inside your body does. So you go one, and when this little hole in your hands gets to eye height, your head lifts to follow it. Now here comes the hard part. On two, you have to break apart and your hands have to get bigger this way, two, and then come down so that your right hand strikes your left. Strike this way. <coughs> 
The hard part here is most people are relatively together when they learn this, and then they try to go apart this way, and now you're apart, apart. There's no structure to you. And so then they try to keyme, and then they go less. They go shorter instead of bigger. So it's an interesting dynamic. We'll try it a few times. Go away this way. One, use your legs. Look. Two, break. Three, strike. Start again. One, two, break. Three, strike. Start again. One, two, three. Breathing. Uh, you exhale all the way. Some people say you inhale here. And that's okay. But I was taught to exhale. So you exhale here. Then you break here with a bigger exhale. And then you exhale again here. So obviously during the motion there's inhales. You just don't inhale on purpose. One more time. One. Two. Three. Exhale. Okay, from here you're very, very centered. You're going to drop down and perform a super high knife hand block sideways. One, I want this hand to be up by your solar plexus or even a little bit higher. So very, very high in my opinion. And I like your form actually to be where solar plexus is, not your hand. Then you're going to switch sides and go this way. Two, we're going to practice that just a little bit. Hey, go back. So you're right here with your hand struck. So there are two rules of thought here. One, actually there's three, I'm sorry. One is that your hand coils across, the elbow comes straight across, and then it comes straight out to block. The other one is that your elbow comes in inside of a circle and goes out to block. And then, foolishly, they decided there was no in, there was only an out. And people that do that to me always end up disconnected and apart. The first two are both right. If you are having trouble with this, please, and we'll practice this a few times. Let's do that. Coil across and hold. You go one, squeeze, two, shock down into your legs. Then we're going to practice the other side. One, squeeze, two, shock, way up high. Again, here. One, two. One, two. Back. Now, uh, a little bit more of a circle. It's just going to kind of bounce off your center to come up and around. And then it's going to bounce off your center to come up and around again. Here, squeezing down. One, drop. Two, drop. Back. I wanted to move on to the next move. One, drop. Two, drop. Back. We're going to go on to the next move because I feel like the first three all kind of fit together, the first three little sections here. So start over at the very beginning. Go on, lift, look, open, squeeze, all the way down to your feet. One, two. Now your right hand comes across and blocks your body as your body moves out of the way and you extend your left. Three. Do it again. One, two, squeeze. Three, four. One. Try it again. One, two, three, four. Back. Oh, grab the next move. Really neat. So this was because I was thinking of something important though. As you step out to perform this movement, you have to radically increase the pressure to this leg from your drawing arm. So it's just never going to be the same if you do two things. If you wiggle your torso, it's just never going to be the same. And if I don't make pressure in my legs, you're just standing there flapping your arms around. So especially during the learning phase, the first few years of doing this kata, try to get the pressure to increase down into your back leg, down into your back leg. So from here, 
down into your back leg, down into your back leg. Increase the pressure. Try again. Wait. <coughs> teaching people, students, how to do this, this, uh, after this, one, two, even two, this always looks awkward. They try to do their hand, they try to move their body, and then they try to do their hand. It's all got to blend. And if you could imagine that a technique is coming straight towards you, and you're moving out of the way and catching it, it flows from one place to the other. So try to get that sensation as you do it. Try one more time here. One, two, one, two, one, cover, strike. Good. If you want to see applications for these movements, please look at my other video. Uh, I'll put the link in the description below. And that goes through all the applications to the kata, or at least the unique ones. And again, relies heavily on the hands. It is most likely that Kankudai or Susanku existed first and it was used as a model as they were creating or at least updating the hands, which are also called Pinans, uh, primarily by Atosu. All right, we're going to go through that series one more time, then we're going to move on to the next part. Start here. One. One, two, one. Okay, I teach this a little bit different than most people. This is what I want you to do. I want you to go one and drive your punch by pulling into your left foot. One, then coil this arm up high like techie and twist and drop it down. Two, one, two. Now, most often in Japan and Okinawa, everywhere, because we learn Kihon first, people have a preconception about what things are. And most people think after this punch that this is some kind of a block, and it's totally not. But people do it in a big stance, they arch their back, they get this big giant motion, and then they do it again. And I think that is foolishness. And again, if you look at the application video, you'll see why. But primarily, I think this is a shock to hit the guy, this is a finisher where you drop your body weight on them. One, two. And I think that stands up in other sections of the kata as uh, a theme of application. So anyway, let's start here. One, two. One, two. Right again. All right. One, two. One, two. I'll tell you something that does matter though, now that I see it, is a lot of people after this punch, when they wind their arm up, regardless of they're doing this, they're doing this, or like I told you to do this, they move their hip first. So their timing is bad. They move their hip and then they do their arm. Then they punch and move their hip and then they do their arm. Your hip stays there till now. Straight, now, pull. So your body has to match your arm when you move. Try again. Wait. One, two, one, two, one more time, boys. One, two, one, two. Now it is exactly like a Heian Nidan or Pinan Shodan. You're going to pull this foot in just a little bit, stack your hands and look to your right. One, side snap. Two, block. Three. As we discussed earlier, that little turn is in there to readjust your direction towards the front. So we're going to try that a couple times with the extra count. You're starting here. There are two, three, three acceptable ways to do this, uh, depending on where you learned it and who, what you think the application is. One 
is that for your feet pull together this way. It has a lot of good applications. Then you do your strikes and then you do this. The second one is a little more basic Shotokani, and that is you coil and pick your foot up to here, and then you snap, and then you go. Three is you know you're going to be kicking, so you go directly from here to out, and then you go back and in. I don't particularly care which one you do, as long as you do it well. So work on one of those. They all have good reasons for doing them. Uh, but I want to add that little extra turn after your recoil. So because it's a side snap, or some people do a front kick, because it's a snapping light action, your recoil should be heavier. <coughs> your arm can either stay there, like they do in most parts of Japan, or it can pull back to here. I, again, don't care much. Both are fine. So you're standing here. You go one, two, hold, three, four. That little bit of here. I'm right here. New direction. Three, drive, four. Your leg drives your hip down. Try it again. One, two, three, four. Try it again. One, two, three, four. Try it now without the extra count. After the snap, just twist and block. But please, Drive your leg into the floor. Let's see if I can demonstrate. What I want you to do is make sure that this drives, as opposed to me falling and doing the block. So what I said, let's see, is I want you to make sure this drives. So there's good compression here, right there. Drive, go. Boom down into the floor, as opposed to snap, fall. And there's no shock going this way, no shock going this way, no real base. So I want you to try to develop the base and the direction. <sighs> One, two, three. Right again. One, two, three. Again. One, two, three. One more time. One, two, three. Moving forward, light hand knee down. You're going to squeeze and then shock. So these are two knife hand blocks and one spear hand strike. We're going to do them each in two counts. Not yet. We'll do each one count. Knife hand block. One. Two, spear hand, three, that's the front hands. Okay, so try that series again. It's right here. One, knife hand blocks. One, two, three, spear hand. Front hands. Back stance, back stance, back stance, front stance. Okay, now I'll break them into two counts. So let's pretend you just did this first knife hand block. You're going to coil together and hold. One, squeeze. Two, pull down. One, squeeze. Two, pull down. One, squeeze. It's not a knife hand block, it's a spear hand strike. Two, strike. Try it again. Knife hand block. One, squeeze. Two, one, Two, one, this hand is going to drop as if it were blocking, and then come over the top and spear hand strike. Two. So when I first learned this, it was very square, and then they changed it to being more in. So you're crossing kind of either where your fingers, knuckles are here, or your wrist is, depending on how your body works. Both shoulders, both elbows go forward. You are here, cover, strike. Thought of something else that was important. One, two, three. Nope, that's it. Here we go. <laughs> uh, you just finished that knife block. One, back step. Two, back step. Three, drive forward. Okay, start over from the very 
beginning. We'll come up to this point twice, and then we'll continue on with the kata. Ah, bow. Feet apart in the right position. One. Shift your weight onto your front leg and look behind you in preparation. Then you're going to cover your head and strike. And then you kick and turn. Two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. I know we just did a bunch of these, but yet I, maybe I forgot to tell you some stuff. So, if I'm in this spear hand strike and I'm about to turn, I want to make sure this hand covers my face as I come. Then, I do my kick and my turn. This hand again, your left hand, has to cover your face as you strike out and as you pull back. So here, you cover your face, go, strike, Right here is what I'm talking about. Come up, cover your face. Strike and pull. Okay, so that's just in there. Okay, so where was I in the kata? Let's say I'm doing the kata face in the same way as you. I did my back wrist strike, I did my neck strike, and I'm here. So now we're going to continue on to the next part. Face it the way you want. One. Two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, side snap kicks, elbow strikes. This is, by some people's, at some people's estimation, exactly the same as Hayan Yonda. And where I said before there were three ways to do this, this way there's four. So your, your first way is to pull your feet together and look to your side, then do your side snap, and then drive your elbow. Uh, then in Heian Yonda, and you pull your foot halfway, you don't do that here. And you're also not in line here. You're in a regular stance. So then you pull your feet together here, side snap, and elbow strike. That's the first way. The second way, I forgot where I am. Okay, the second way is to coil, like we talked about, to here, then side snap, elbow strike. Coil, side snap, elbow strike. The third way is to coil your leg and side snap in a very basic way without any stopping for the coil part. Here we come to the fourth part. I kind of went over this in uh, Sochin. If you're saying, so the main reason for these stacks or this stack is that you're catching a technique and then doing something after. The main reason for skipping it is somebody's attacking and you're going to try to kick them and possibly block before you do your elbow strike. Using that logic, the shortest way from here to there is for your hip to go this way. So then I would go one, two, and then I'd do it again this way. One. Two. So it's much more of a thrusty, driving snap. Uh, the first three versions are much safer as far as somebody critiquing you. The fourth one I kind of like, but you can play with whatever you want. So here we are, like this. One. Uh, side snap, elbow strike. One, two. One, two. Four knife hand blocks exactly like Ham showed up. One, two. One, two. I think we should start over. Mm -hmm. So we went through a lot of the kata already, and this is a long, difficult kata. So 
I have said this before, but I'll say it again. I'm going to do this two times up to that point, once facing this way and once facing the same way as you, and then we will continue from there. So you bow, oi, this way. One. Two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. One, two, one, two, three, four. I'm okay. The good news is that's slightly more than halfway. We're we're past halfway. very popular kata in Shotokan. It is said that it was Funakoshi's favorite kata to watch. So, does it mean he did it a lot? No, he's actually got a lot of pictures of him doing it uh, in his early textbooks. Uh, the 1922 and the 1926 version of, I don't know, depends what you call it, Tote, Tote Jutsu? Or Kakido, I uh, know. We just did these four knife hand blocks like hand Shodan. And now you do this series again, but instead of turning, you're going to go in. Two, three. Kind of like hand Yonda. Step back inside block. One, big hip turn. Two, three. This part I do different than most people. What I want you to do here is catch and then drop to the floor. So that's the way I was originally taught 35 or 38 years ago. And what they used to say was that you were catching a fist and then you were falling to the ground because somebody was swinging a big stick. And then they realized it was silly to claim that somebody was going to punch here so that I could turn around and catch his fist. And didn't do anything to him. So then they decided that he had the stick and he's swinging it at me. And what you're doing as the stick comes, go back, is you're going to hit him in the head and then drop under the stick. And I loved that when they first brought it up. And then I tried it and it does not work. You'll get hit in the head with the stick almost every time because the stick's whipping around, your gravity's not enough to drop you. And again, you can look in the application version. But I will tell you this. All you have to do is put this portion at close distance, punching you in the head. And you're going to turn around and smack him here and fall with him to the ground. It will work. It will knock him out. I promise you. Interestingly enough, even if this is your application, there is, it is perfectly okay to also have a forward slide to this motion because it will help activate the nerves on the side of his neck. <clears throat> but anyway, let's try that again. You are here in your last knife hand block. You go one, kick and hold. Two, circle the arms. Three, step back. One, two, three. One, catch, fall. Then you're gonna turn and do a super low Knife hand block in back stance. Then step up to a normal block. Three, inside block counter punch. Four, five, the other way. One, two, three. Side snap. One, two. One, two. Turning. Drop your vertical fist down with the back of your knuckles. Three, hammer fist strike, sliding in. Elbow strike. One, Two, three, big turn. One, two, three. Let's go over that for a little bit. So there was a lot of stuff there. 
what I want to point out about this part is you strike, you hit to the middle of you, cover the middle of you, cover the middle of you, and strike down. If you believe it's a block, it's this way. If you believe it's a strike, it's like this way. Then you step back, that's probably a block. Double punch. When you do the strike and fall, try to maintain your body position, both on the fall and on the turn. So after one, two, three. No, how am I wrong here? One, two, three, four. This way. One, two. Stay this bent and turn super low. Then step up normal, knife hand block. Now when you turn, your body creates this rotation. Your elbow slightly comes across your center, but it whips out your, your sideways, very much sideways, before you twist the counter punch. You come back this way, establish that direction, double punch. It's kind of a fun little turn to do. I think you should practice it. By the way, there's a picture of Sensei Funakoshi doing that. Uh, he's about 52 years old at the time, and he is six inches off the ground. And then he stands up and does these knife hand blocks in a super, super short stance. So there are some people, if they are critiquing what I'm doing, they're going to say your side snaps are not the same, you do them different in different places. That's true. I think that's the way karate is supposed to be. I think one of the big problems was they made everything the same. They homogenized it. They made all, if this is a back stance and all those are back stances, all these positions are exactly the same. I don't think that's true. I think it would adjust to each position. And uh, I have done a lot of research to it that can prove that that's the way it used to be. So anyway, let's uh, do this. So one, two, three. One twist, two, three. Catch. One, two. Stay low. One, two. Inside block. Big twist. One. You hit the sideways. Two. Drive in. One. You hit the sideways. Two, three. Side snap. One, two. Spear hand strike is what comes next. This covers, this goes in. One. This stays in space in the same spot, but it twists up as your body moves. Two. Drop down. Three. This is like techie. Twist your hip. One, two, three. Okay. On this move, they say it's like you're turning a giant steering wheel, and it kind of is. This hand is going to twist and catch this way. This leg is going to come up. This arm is going to come up in basically a rising block position. After you establish this position here, your body turns this way. Then you punch straight down with this hand that way. Then you're going to come up. Give it a try. This way. Uh, elbow strike. Yep. One, two, three. One. Up. Down. Two. Three. Punch. Four. Up. Spin. Five. Then drop down. Double flying front kick. Six. Snap, snap, go. Hi, yes. Hi, rest. All right. Um, I want to talk about the double flying front kick. I have an exercise for you to do. Okay. First drill is you do two kicks. One, snap kick. Two, snap kick. Three, do one of those. That's the first thing, do that. One, two, three. Okay. One more time. One, two, three. Okay. Here's the second way. This is the other extreme. The other extreme is you're going to pick up your right, or sorry, your left knee kind of like a fake. 
and then kick with your right. So it's going to kind of go one, two, three. That's relatively easy to do. You see it in a lot of other styles. The knee lift picks you up, and you do the second kick. One, snap, snap, go. Okay, one more time. Two, snap, snap. Okay, so here's the tricky part. The real method is right in between. You don't skip this kick and then do that one. You don't complete this kick and then do that one. Instead of using the knee lift to get you up in the air, you use the recoil to get you up in the air. So it is kind of, see if you can see it, one, snap, snap, go. Mm -hmm. Try it again. See if your body can lift on the recoil from the first kick. Ew, snap, snap. Try it again. Three, snap, snap, go. One more time. Four. And then for standing up, when I first learned this, we went one, two. Then, for reasons that very few people know, it went one, two. I decided there's no stop. The application to this movement is very similar to this application. So again, look at my other tape if you want to know how, but I don't stop. So give it a try. You're right here. I up, out, and then up. I rest. Very good. All right, now we're going to go through the whole kata uh, two more times. So once I'll face this way, then I'll switch places, I'll face the other way. Still to the count. But now it's all the way through the whole thing. Uh, if you have difficulty, please go back and practice each individual part that you have trouble with. There is always a lot to fix in kata, and especially in this one. Uh, I'm going to back up, I guess. Out. Come back. Come back. Boy. One. Two, three. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, one, two. So the two ki, the last ones on the last move. First one's got to be on this one. I was that too soon. Uh, I don't remember. Switch. Oh, come on, I. Come back, boy. One, two, three, four. One, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Six. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, one, 
One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Sailor. Very good. That's our session for Kung Fu Dai. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe to the video. If you have questions or comments, you can put them down below or send me an email at gimberline at hotmail.com. Stay safe, stay healthy. Thank you.